Hi, this is Joe Pringle from Socrata, and I wanted to give you a quick overview of our work in health. We work with influential organizations at all levels of government. We work with large international organizations, and we help them have a bigger impact with their data. We help them share their data out to large audiences and make their data more findable, more understandable, more useful. We help them explain complicated issues with data and data visualizations, and we help them report on progress and impacts and drive performance using data. I'm going to show you a few examples of our work in health, and if you have any questions or would like additional detail, just, uh, just let me know. This is an example of uh, some of our work with Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. They use Socrata to share data to diverse audiences, including researchers, including industry, nonprofits and civil society and advocacy organizations, policymakers at all levels of government, the media, consumers. We help them take the data from where it is inside CMS in different systems with different data owners and make it available to these diverse audiences and do it in a way that make it easy for these different types of audiences to access and use the data in some way. We work with HHS on a project to aggregate performance data across the entire U.S. health system and provide it and report on it in an intuitive way so people can easily see broad trends with respect to the U.S. health system. We work with Medicaid, helping them collect data from the states and then report on it to decision makers in the form of intuitive dashboards. We work with the Gates Foundation to monitor and evaluate a portfolio of projects that are working on infant mortality and ways to improve upon maternal and child health in developing countries. One of the key aspects of our platform is making it easy to, to get the data from where it is and deliver it to people who need it in ways they can use it. We can connect to databases and other tools in using our API and other automated means to take data from those systems and publish it in real time. We can also allow users to simply import data from uh, their hard drive or file share. You can uh, go and upload a file. It's as simple as grabbing a spreadsheet and attaching it to an email. Our system automatically analyzes the data and it creates a virtualized web-based version of that data set that you can then do all sorts of powerful things with. The platform can also accommodate forms in other ways to allow users to report on data. And this is an example of our work with Medicaid where they want the states to be able to report on a set of indicators and have a very intuitive form-based method for reporting on defined indicators on a regular basis. So the, the key, key point there is there's a number of, of tools that make it really easy to get data into the platform that you can then use. Once data is in the platform, you can do all sorts of things with it to make it understandable and useful to diverse audiences. And one of the key things we find in our work is, in many cases, our customers, they're trying to share data out to, to users with vastly different levels of sophistication and understanding of how to use data. So we want to deliver data in a way that's useful to the power users so they can quickly access the data in ways they want to use it as well as make it understandable and meaningful to less sophisticated users. So here are some examples of what that means. If you, if you uh, access data in Socrata, the first thing you get is a quick and easy preview of data. You can view it right in the browser. You don't need to download it and uh, open it up on your desktop in a different application. You can see it right in the browser. You can interact with the columns sort of the same way you can do it in Excel to sort and filter different columns. You can roll up and aggregate data in different ways. If you want to go from county level data or city level data and roll it up to state level data or other, other ways to aggregate it, you can do that. You can export the data in different formats. Many times our, our, our 
audiences they want to just grab data and they want to go off and use it in their platform of choice they want to download it in different formats the the platform auto automatically creates those it also makes the data available in the form of feeds and an api which i'll get to in a minute but all of this is it's all about delivering data in the hands of users in the way that they want it there's a set of tools that you can use to visualize the data and again the idea is self-service it allows a data owner, a uh, subject matter expert or a researcher who's not a programmer to create useful views and visualizations. And so the platform will automatically help guide the user through a workflow and, 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 and instruct them on how, how to configure the visualization in a way that makes sense and is meaningful. And there's a toolbox of different visualizations that you can use. You can um, use different conditional formatting and and controls over the legends and ways to annotate the visualizations that make them say what you want and display what you want. You can add error bars and other embellishments that help explain more complex data if needed. You can create rich maps uh, with a variety of different base layers. You can make these maps interactive and you can make all the visualizations in the platform embeddable. So uh, frequently, one of the things our, cus our customers use us for is they, they need to create an interactive map. They need to release a, a study on their website. They want to embed some interactive data directly in their website, and, and they don't want to sort of program it from scratch and recreate the wheel each time. They want to do this on a, on a repeatable basis. So we give that capability of quickly and easily going from data to interactive visualizations and maps that you can use in, in a variety of ways. The other thing that these embeds do is they increase the reach of your data. You can allow people to embed your data much as they would uh, embed a YouTube video. And so you can get this viral effect with your data where you can uh, republish it and get it um, reused across the web by many different organizations. We also work with a lot of our customers helping them use data to drive improved performance and to report performance and impact to stakeholders in a, in a very transparent, data-driven sort of way. This is an example of work we're doing with Medicaid that I mentioned earlier where we are collecting performance data from across all 50 states and then we're serving it up in the form of a very intuitive performance dashboard that senior leadership at Medicaid can use to monitor the progress of the, the program, make decisions, and improve performance over time. We work with a lot of states and cities and other organizations helping them report progress towards their stated goals to, to public audiences and, and really be accountable to their constituents to say, here are our goals with respect to health, here are the, uh, the targets we said we'd, re we'd reach by a certain point, and here's the data that shows how we're doing. It also lets them tell the story uh, about the goal and, and provide additional context and information that says, here's how we're doing, here's what we're doing and why, here's what actions we've taken uh, to hit a certain goal. The last thing I'll show is APIs or application programming interfaces. These are enabled for every data set on the platform and they make it much much easier for a developer to build web applications or mobile apps or other tools on top of a Socrata powered data set. This can be either external third-party developers, technology companies, or entrepreneurs that you want to use your data and get it out there into use. It can also be internal development efforts that, that take advantage of the API to build applications uh, uh, for exploring or disseminating data in some way. The platform makes it very easy to create APIs. It also auto-generates documentation that explains to a developer how to use the API. This is sort of like an instruction manual for the API. It really helps them understand the data and how to use the API effectively. There is a huge community around Socrata's API. There are uh, different types of code libraries and other tools that are contributed that everyone who uses the API can take advantage of. And the result is our APIs 
uh, get used and they're very effective. We get great feedback on uh, on how uh, well constructed our APIs are. Uh, this is an example of a, a tool that was built using a, an API for CMS that we we helped them launch, and it allows it allows people to explore healthcare plan data and browse across plans, understand costs and coverage in a very intuitive way. Uh, this is a company called HealthSherpa.com. And uh, there's other, other examples of, of groups using our API. This is using some cost data on hospitals all over the country. And, and again, it's an example of how using APIs allows a data publisher to get their data out into use and encourage innovation by third-party organizations that might want to build interesting applications or tools that get the data out there and, and make it easier for consumers or others to, to take advantage of. So that is a quick tour of the work that Socrata is doing in health and an overview of how we're supporting different customers, helping them share their data, helping them explain their issues with data and data visualizations, helping them drive performance and report progress to their constituents. If you have any questions or would like more detail on, on any of this, here is my contact information. And, and please don't hesitate to reach out if, if you'd like to learn more. Thank you very much.